18 carries, 40 yards. Let that set in. Got rushed for 2,000 yards in 16 regular season games. 18 carries, 40 yards. 2.2 yards per carry. If this is your first time here, do me a favor, click the subscribe button. Um, once you do that, go ahead, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. And today's video, if well, you know by the the intro and the title, dethroning King Henry. So what I did today was I took all of the first half carries, and um, we gonna look at them. He had ten carries in the first half for eighteen yards, and um, let's let's see what the Ravens did to to kind of shut the guy down and really, you know, set the tone for the game. Uh, let's get it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the all twenty two version, let it let it play, and um, then we'll come back and talk about it from the the back view. But let me call these these numbers out to you. He had ten rushes. We already talked about that. Two, six, one, one, minus three, five, four, one, one, zero. Amazing, amazing. So this one is two, just for two yards. They run an outside zone, and I told you. You know, in my little preview video, they run outside zone left and right, and then they run dive left and right. And uh, we finna find out if they, they deviated from that. So they run outside zone to this strong side over here. They're trying to get over here. And basically what they want to do, they want somebody to get out of that gap so he can cut it back and, and hit it. Because they know once he get past this first level, a lot of DBs ain't gonna want to tackle him. So then last time I talked about us being out big man in the box. Uh, let's see if that changed this time. Let me back, let me get this off the screen. So we got one, two, three, four, five. That's that's all defensive linemen, defensive ends, outside linebackers. Five, uh, six, and seven. Malik and Queen. So we have seven to their five, six, seven, eight, nine. The reason I say they got nine because all three of these guys are tight ends. You got your five linemen, your three tight ends, and King Henry counts as a as a, a big guy. So that's they out big man that's on this one, but let's just let's see what happens. Alright. We got gap integrity here. Gap integrity here. I think this is Queen. Queen's trying to you know make sure he's there. Malik is he needs to stay behind Henry but in front of this lineman. Reason being, if he's behind Henry, when he decides to cut back, he'll be there to field. But if he's behind this lineman, this lineman can hook him and set an alleyway for Henry to cut. This guy, I'm not, this may be McPhee, just needs to make sure Tannehill gives the ball off first, then come flat down the line. All right, so he's waiting. Tannehill gives it off. We got Penetration here by maybe Calais. I'm not sure. Got a double team here. So now he's free to feel. Free to feel. Got an extra guy on the edge, right? I think that might be Chuck Clark. Free to feel. Now, penetration. Gap arm free. Gap arm free. Gap arm free. So now you got to try to cut back. Got to try to cut back. And he got penetration and he can patrol this gap. No way to cut back. Now come down the line, flat, with this guy we just talked about, because we talked about the cutback in the last video. Come down the line, flat, make the tackle, make feet. Be disciplined. Be disciplined. He's going to play two. This play, he had six yards. So this is one of his better runs. His best runs were eight, six, five, and four. And the eight was toward the end of the, the, the fourth quarter, toward the end of the game. So now, big. let's count the big men first. All right, this guy's a receiver, so I'm not counting him. Five linemen, tight end, that's six. Derrick Henry, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Because this is a safety guy, so I'm not counting him. So we're six on six. 
Six on six. Let it run. Stretch again. Stretch again. They're going to try to double this guy. And I'm, I'm not sure who's blocking Marlon, but they basically, he cracking on him and he going there to him. Now this time, we you know, we talked about not letting them have solo blocks. And it looks like they're getting solo blocks on this one. But who's this folding? Marlowe's going to fold in. I don't know if he's going to make the tackle, but he's going to fold in. See, to make that block on Ngagwe, Marlon folds into that gap. So if Henry runs here, I mean, he got a favorable matchup, but it's a guy there. We got penetration again here, but he got his gap. He got his gap. He went in his gap. He's about to be cut, so let's see if he stays on his feet from being cut. And again, this guy has to make sure he's handed off, and he come flat down the line. Make sure he's handed off. Now he's coming flat. He's getting, whoever, and Gogway's getting kind of rolled up there. 13 comes off on Marlon because, you know, he kind of doubled that and Marlon folded in, so now he has leverage on Marlon. But Henry can't run there. So now Henry has to make up his mind. Do I want to try to bounce this? I could run it up in there and just take the contact, or I can stick my foot in the ground and come here. You got three options at this point. He decided to stick his foot in there. And because 13 comes off his block and gets a piece of Marlon, Henry's able to kind of slither through there and get five yards. Marlon does a good job of getting off that block, and then somebody else comes in to help. Joker comes in to help him out. So that's that's six yards. That's his biggest gain of the, the first half. This play, he'll he get one yard. One yard on this one. Outside, well, stretch again. Stretch again. So now, count the big man. Five linemen tight end is six. Fullback now, seven. Uh, tailback, eight. So now we have our five up front. Um, two linebackers at seven. Not sure who this is. And you have Chuck Clark there. So we're still down one. But we're what we're trying to do is cover this guy with a, a safety or a DB. So I understand the concept. Because we don't necessarily have linebackers that can cover their tight end. We got safety that can, but we don't have linebackers that can. They're not even running a stretch week, I think. But now it might be strong when they put the yeah, stretch week. So now again, his job is the same. Just on you know the other side now. Make sure Tannehill gives the ball off, then come flat. If Tannehill boots out of there with that ball, hit him in the mouth. That's his job. That's his job. Now, we gotta set the edge here. Don't let him get outside. Set the edge. Feel. Scrape. Feel. All right, because it like he's taking inside gap. So now scrape, feel. And you got this guy right here, you know, kind of as backup, as support. I think that's Chuck. Great, great knockback by whoever this is. I can't tell who this is. Let's see if I can tell pre-snap. Look like Calais. That's Calais. Calais takes 64. And remember, I talked about him and 60 being the weak, the weak guy, the weak links on this line. Takes him and manhandles him. No up the field pressure. I mean, no up the field movement. So basically, they just going straight sideways. They're going straight sideways. And Calais has this gap. And the reason I know that, because he failed right there. That's how I know that. So now he can't cut back because Calais is there. The fullback is, is just a, a muck. The fullback runs in there and falls. The only little chance he has is to hit it right there. But even though this dude get mauled, you got somebody right there, he looking at him in the face. Looking at him in the face. So now he decides to hit it. Who's this comes off the attack? Look like McPhee again. Watch watch McPhee on the edge. So McPhee gonna set the edge and get in on the tackle. Set the edge so he can't get outside. Now, once the edge is set and he see him uh, break the cutback, and dive at those feet, dive at those thighs. And the reason he don't have anywhere to go because everybody else in their gap. Everybody else in their gap. And keep in mind, McPhee led the team in tackles, I think, with six, or was, was second the team in tackles with six, only played 20 snaps. Only played 20 snaps. If that's not efficiency, I don't know what it is. Look, look who that is again on the tackle. That's McPhee again. That's McPhee again. 
All right, now they try, now they don't normally do this. Let's see if they run an the inside zone. They normally do this in the red zone, rather, so they can have the possibility of Tanner here pulling it. So as far as you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven big men plus the running back, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and adding that safety there to kind of on top of that tight end. So they still running. They, that's the inside zone. All this is inside zone. They got a double there, a solo, 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 solo. So now, and he's coming off, and he's reading him. So what should happen is they look like they had an advantage here. If, it, if Henry gets it and just hits it right there, he should be good. But the thing is, he's winning. He's already pressed this man out and looking right in Henry's face. He's already pressed him out and looking right at, you know, Derrick Henry like, okay, what you going to do? If you go, if you come here, I got this gap secure. I reach out and tackle you. If you're going to stick your foot in the ground and go the other way, I'm going to throw his butt out the way and then come over there too and help. Then if he does that, McPhee's sitting right there. He decides to bounce it. McPhee's sitting right there. Uh, I think this may be Malik. Malik wins. Let's see if that's Malik. Yeah, Malik wins. Wins his block versus the tackle. And you got three guys on him. Three guys on him. Discipline. Discipline. Next play. Play five. He gets one, two, three. He gets minus three on this one. Or this is when Judah shot the gap. And the good thing about defense is it don't take but one person to win their responsibility to, to make the play great. So they got whew, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three tight ends, your five linemen, and your tailback. We have one, two, three, four, five. Queen is six. Malik seven. That's a DB. That's a DB. That's a DB. All right, let's see what happens. We know Judon wins on this one. So here's Judon right here. So pre-snap, based because I know what's going to happen on the play, he must have a C gap. And Judon must have that gap. Because Judon, I think, just fires in right there. And maybe he walks in. Let's see. Yeah, he pushes it in. So which gap Judon? Oh, Judon got this gap. He fires into this gap. And, and just beats the block. Leverage. Low man wins. And he got low. Look how low he is. He way up under the tight end. Can't do anything about it. Before, uh, as soon as Henry even get the ball, right in his face. Great individual play by Judon. If you look at it, everybody else is blocked up. If this dude get his block, Henry has that hole right there to hit it. Everybody else is blocked up. But on defense, it only takes one guy to win their assignment to stop the play. On offense, everybody got to do their job. Play six. Tight set again. Look at all that beef up in there. Okay, now they do something different. They run a little counter. They run a little counter. All right, so I hadn't seen them run this before. So they're going to pull 64. So he should, he sh he's responsible. This guy right here is responsible for kicking out the end. 85 is going to come in motion, and he's responsible for getting to the linebacker. That's, the, that's counter play. I don't know if Derrick Henry is going to do the old school jab and go or what. We'll see. Yep. Take the counter step. Everybody else blocking down. He got the mic. Down block, down block, down. Should be to that backer. All right. And he's stabbing that and protecting C gap. So you got your counter step here. Got your, the kick outs here. The should be, he should be face to face with Malik right here. And the puller, which is number 85, should be going there. So, what it is, is who wins this block? Is that Queen? That's Queen. Queen right here defeats the block of 72. Watch Queen in 72. Got the motion. Sees him and just fakes him out. <laughs> That's all it is, just fake him out. Watch the little head fake. Boop, boop. And now he right there to make the top. Right there. Right there. Now he dives and misses, but he disrupts the play. He disrupts the play, and then when it bounces out there to Malik, who's winning his leverage, he, he disrupts it too. Now both of them miss tackles, understandably. They shouldn't miss those tackles. But he don't have Henry don't have clean feet. 
He got to duck and dodge and avoid so not that somebody can come clean him up. Now, when he's doing that, DBs can, can come in and make tackles. When he's doing that, DBs can come and make tackles. And he got five on that. That's his second best run of the of the uh, first half. And he got four on this one, which was his third best run of the first half. Stretch right back to stretch. And I, right there, somebody either won, got out of their gap, or they, you know, they they they've got solo blocks. Let's see, stretch left. Got a double team there. He he needs to get over. He's trying to get over there to cut him off so he can cut that off. Let's see what happens. Cause we should have no, we don't have the numbers because they got a fullback, and if, you know they're responsible for him. Got solo, solo. So they they have the numbers on this. He he got out. He getting held. That's holding. I don't care what you say. That's holding. He's going to try to feel there, but that double team in the middle is what won. He got he got him on the ground. So that means the guard was able to come off and go to the linebacker and look at the alley. Look at the alley. So good job of fighting off by Wolf. Wolf got off his block. Where's his Wolf? Right here. He's going to get off his block. And then I think this is Malik coming backside, coming from the backside to help out. Wolf fighting, trying to keep leverage, trying to keep leverage. Sees Henry go inside. Comes in there. Him and, him and uh, Malik come in on tackle. But I think uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stood linebacker got, got swallowed on this one. Watch it. He got swallowed on this one by guard. He did a good, good job double teaming. And this is what I talk about him, him getting too close to the line sometimes. Because he got so close and up up there, he was able to just slide off right there and make the tackle. It wasn't a whole lot of effort by him to get the queen. Watch. Oh, he's just going to slide off the guy and he's right there to make the tackle. Now, if you make him, like on the last play, make him come out and get you, you got the opportunity to fake him out like you did the last guy. But let's go on to the next play. Play eight. Look at that, all that they got up there again. Look at all those tight ends. This is the dive. Okay, this is the first time they run the dive. So again, and like I told you in the preview, Stretch, dive. The only variation so far has been the counter. They've run stretch, 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 stretch. They ran that counter, and now they're about to run dive. So they got one, two, three tight ends. Your lineman, that's eight. Henry's nine. And then they're going to bring another receiver in right there to be 10. So basically, everybody's on the line of scrimmage. Or in the box, so to speak. I just got a double team right there, which they win. Got uh, a leverage block right there, which so he got he got an alley. I'm not sure where Queen's going. Queen should be going right there. But and you know with that double team, feel it, feel it. I'm not really sure where Queen was going on that. I'm not sure because nobody pulled. Nobody pulled. Let's see. I'm gonna guess these the the assignment leverage there, there. There. So his queen is this his is this his gap right there? Cause he stepped that way. Cause there is no nose guard. I don't think. And we looking there. So he he gotta have that gap. He gotta have that gap. Maybe come in there. Cause they got more gaps than we can cover. Really, they got more gaps than we can cover. I'm not sure where queen was going. But they, I guess, outside, he saw those guys go outside, kind of outside zone that way. He stepped that way. So that's what I'm saying. He's seeing these guys run outside zone, so he's stepping that way. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Got to win that. Shoot through that gap. Shoot that gap. And that's, that's Juicy. Juicy sees that it's not coming. He anchors down and keeps his leverage. That's perfect right there by 71. So I'm just going to anchor down, kind of pat my feet, and keep my leverage. Keep my leverage. Man, that's perfect. That's great play right there. That's perfect. Now go over here to this double team in the middle. Double team. Don't let him. God, look at this defeat of this double team. I don't know who this I can't tell who this is. Watch them defeat this double team. Bam, they hip to hip right where you're supposed to be. And watch him squeeze through there. And then get in on. He makes the. Man, who is that? That's Matter BK. Look at Matter BK. Defeat the double team, then get in on the tackle. Look at that. Get him, Rook. Get him, Rook. 
Next play. That dude's balling. That dude's balling. Play nine. Right now, outside zone again. Stretch. I call stretch and outside zone the same thing. They're the same thing. So if I say one or the other, I mean the same play. Even though they're probably different aiming points for running backs, but for this purpose, they're the same play. All right, they got. So obviously, we're in the second quarter now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys and the, and the running back. We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we matching them on this one? So I guess we, you know, we can count the the safety and running back as as a equal matchup. Let's see where we at. I think this is a one yard game. Outside zone again. Nothing. Stuff. Stuff. And I might already show this view. I don't think I did though. But I, like I said, obviously this is the second quarter. Got the numbers. We good on numbers. Stretch left. Got leverage on. Um, he has his leverage. He has outside leverage setting the edge. That's Bowser. Brandon needs to try to work over there. Queen has his gap. Matabike is working that gap. Um, Malik's there and he's making sure he handed off then coming flat that's why his eyes is looking right at the mesh point you gotta make sure Tannehill don't have the ball first then come flat my bad didn't mean to go fast right, Tannehill handed off and look at watch Wolf not only win his leverage but push this guy back and by him getting penetration that makes Henry not be able to just hit the hole. Now he got to try to find somewhere to go. Big Baby has has worked from here to here and not giving up any ground. Now the BK is coming down hard. So now you got a, basically a three man, three guys winning their assignments, boxing this guy in. You got Wolf winning out here. You got Justin kind of pushing it back. You got Matter BK coming to close. You got Queen is there for support. None of these guys are. They look like they're getting blocked, but they not. They boxing him up, and he just runs into the box. Wolf's on the tackle. Matter BK's on the tackle. Brandon's on the tackle. Queen's there for support. Chuck's there for support. And no cutback because of McPhee. No cutback because of McPhee. And then the last play of the first half they got, stretch right. Stretch child size on. Stretch right. Nothing. Zero yards. No gain. Here and they got the five linemen, two tight ends, and a fullback. And which I thought the fullback, the fullback look would be one that gave us problems, but it didn't. It didn't. So they got the double team right there, and they got whoever this is off balance. Who is that? That is Matabike. They got him off balance. All right, look at. But when they double team, Harrison don't play. When when he steps down a double team. Boom, right there, which is what I love by Malik. Okay, you're going to double team? I ain't giving you a chance to hit it. I'm going to meet you back there. So he meets the fullback, in, and we talked about this in the last film. Somebody else got up on him, and they got up on him back here. This game, he goes in there and meets that guy, so now it's at the line of scrimmage. So now he just mucks up the read for the running back. Look at this guy winning his leverage. He's gotten rid of this block already and just looking to see what Henry going to do. He pressed him out of the way. Move out the way. Look, look at McPhee. McPhee and, and, and Malik. Number one, because when he blocks down, Malik fires in there. So that puts everybody on the line of scrimmage. That don't give Henry a, 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 a two-way go once he get up in here. Because if, if the fullback gets up on Malik here, Henry could bounce it off either way off of him. But because he makes that happen up in there, there's no way for him to go. And then just an excellent, another excellent play. By McPhee. 
Press him out. See what's going on. Knowing you got the edge, throw him out the way. Get in on the tap. I ain't even looking back side because that front side play was, was crazy. But, you know, not. I know this was kind of long winded. It's 24 minutes already. This is uh, Coach Evans with Sip the Tyler Films. A great win by the Ravens. Um, I think we're playing Buffalo Saturday night. But uh, this is our first video of the week. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Put your comments down in the box. I appreciate you guys. I'm out.